Hi, I'm John Henry, and we're Crane Industries, and we're talking about cartoners, problems with cartoners, and how to solve them. This is a Tisma cartoner, and in previous sections we've looked at the infeed magazine, we've looked at the vacuum pick and place, and we've looked at getting the carton into the pocket and open. The next step, once the carton is in the pocket, squared up, we need to close the bottom flaps. We have two minor flaps and we have one major flap. The trailing minor flap, we need a mechanical picker which will come forward and pick that flap up into the closed position. The leading minor flap, we will have a guide that as the carton moves past the guide, it gets pushed closed. Now in the machine, it's a little bit hard to see, but we're going to try and show it to you. This is the kicker. And if you watch as the machine cycles, once the minor flaps are closed, it's time to close the major flap. And the major flap needs two folds. It needs to fold the tuck portion and it needs to fold the main portion of the flap. So the tuck portion is folded first, folded up, and then the main portion is folded up and the tuck inserted into the carton and locked in place. Now one of the issues with this as you can see, this is a very tight little section and can be tricky to adjust. If it's not adjusted correctly, you will not fold on the score lines. Rather, you will fold something like this, where instead of the flap folding on the score line, it folded on the main portion of the flap, which then means that the tuck is not in the right position. It's not going to go together and it's going to cause a jam. So the adjust, this section can often be very ticklish to adjust. It's hard to see what's going on here because, of, because this is a reverse tuck carton, so the guides aren't as visible as they might be in a straight tuck. But it is very critical. Again, you have scales, numbered adjustment points, and it's important to identify the proper set point for each carton, each carton size, each adjustment. Once the carton is erected, you need to have a guide to capture the top major flap because it's, if it's not captured and moved out of the way, it can interfere with loading of the carton later on in the loading stage. So we have a guide here that captures the flap and guides it back. And you can see it being bent down and then it's captured by a top confinement to keep it out of the way. After the flaps are closed, the bottom flaps are closed, the carton discharges into this loading area. It's positioned open with the major flap held out of the way, and you would normally have an operator here placing components into the carton. In some models of machines, some, some machines like this will have an automated loading system and that would go in this area as well. Other models of machines will have this area extended so that you can have additional operators. This one is sized for two operators, one in the front, one in the back. This machine has an additional safety feature that's re highly recommended on, on all machines, and that's an additional emergency stop button. This is positioned in an area where the operators are actually working, in addition to the emergency stop on the main control panel. And this allows the operator, in the case of a uh, emergency or a jam, to reach out and stop the machine. As we said, in this area is where loading takes place. Once the carton is loaded, the top needs to be closed. The top closing process is very similar to the bottom closing process. The carton comes in, comes into a kicker section. The kicker is going to kick the trailing flap closed 
you have a plow that's going to plow the leading flap closed. You come into the folding section and you can see this guide that pushes the major portion of the flap over. And as we jog along, you can now see the smaller portion, the tab portion, being folded over. You have a chain here because this, as it goes through the guide, tends to drag back and tends to drag the box out of square. And so you have a chain with lugs that's going to capture the trailing edge of the major flap as it's being tucked in, push it forward to keep the carton square, and then it's just folded down, pushed in by a guide, comes through. You have a, another cam that just makes sure that everything is tucked completely closed. The carton is guided out of the pocket and into a discharge conveyor. And again, in the guide area, in the folding area, the positioning of the guides is very critical because if these guides are not positioned correctly, the flap will not fold correctly, the tab will not line up correctly, and the carton will be damaged or destroyed in the process. This has been John Henry for Frayed Industries. We thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, we would love to receive your feedback. Our contact information is below. Thank you very much.